name is Marcia Rigg. I'm the sister of Sean Rigg, who died following excessive restraint by four UK Metropolitan Police officers. Sean was extremely unwell and required urgent medical assistance. Arrested for theft of his own passport, unnecessarily restrained face down for eight minutes, with force applied to the back of his neck and left shoulder, driven at speed in a cramped cage to the police station instead of a hospital, kept for 11 minutes in the van with no risk assessment and removed in a collapsed state. Sean died on camera at the feet of multiple officers who claimed he was asleep, still handcuffed and practically naked, all within less than an hour of his arrest. After long delays, legal challenges and arduous campaigning, all officers were cleared of wrongdoing in 2019. Following the murder of George Floyd, I, alongside other families from across the globe, spoke with the UN High Commissioner about our experiences, which were strikingly similar. She called for a transformative racial justice agenda and to dismantle systemic racism. Many states at the Human Rights Council condemned the racially discriminatory and violent practices perpetrated by law enforcement officials against black people. These are all strong words that require the strongest of actions. Bereaved families in the UK and beyond have had to fight for accountability and struggle to have their voices heard. The UN must put victims' families at the heart of this important process.